If we continuously compress water, what will we eventually get? Let's imagine we place an infinite amount of water into a device that can infinitely increase the pressure. As the pressure rises, the temperature of the water also continues to increase. Soon, it will reach its boiling point. When the pressure reaches 100,000 standard atmospheres, the hydrogen-oxygen bonds in the water molecules break and it directly transforms into high-density solid ice crystals. But this substance is not the ice we usually see, but a polymer of hydrogen and oxygen atoms. As the pressure keeps increasing, the temperature of the water molecules will become higher and higher, and the gaps between the molecules will gradually decrease due to compression. When the temperature is high enough to ionize gas molecules through molecular collisions, the energy eventually forms a partially ionized plasma. At this point, water in the traditional sense no longer exists. When the pressure reaches one million standard atmospheres, the distance between atoms becomes extremely close and the temperature becomes extremely high. At this point, we will obtain a dense and warm substance with a certain probability of direct collision between atomic nuclei and undergoing nuclear fusion. When the pressure reaches 40 million atmospheres, the water will directly transform into a metallic state, forming metallic hydrogen. This is an energy substance that humans have long dreamed of. If you possess it, you can become the richest person in the world. When the pressure reaches 2 trillion atmospheres, you need to be extremely careful because hydrogen atoms will start nuclear fusion, forming a substance that is harmful. At the same time, you will also see the material in the container expanding wildly so you need to prepare a super container to confine it. Otherwise, the energy released is enough to destroy a city. If you continue to increase the pressure, helium will fuse into carbon, and fusion will continue in the order of the periodic table. When the pressure is eight times greater than the pressure at the collapse of the sun, the final product of nuclear fusion, iron, will be obtained. If you still don't plan to stop at this point, the electrons in the iron atoms will try to resist you. Once the pressure reaches 10,000 trillion trillion atmospheres, the iron electrons will be completely defeated and will be compressed into the atomic nucleus, forming neutrons after neutralizing with positively charged protons. At this point, you will have a neutron star, where the matter in just one cubic centimeter weighs one billion tons. If you are still not satisfied, when the neutron star exceeds the Oppenheimer limit through an attack, it will enter a collapsed state. That's how a simple ordinary water, after undergoing infinite compression, will eventually become a terrifying black hole.